Hello friends, we are going to continue the next part of second topic that's fates of germinal layer. As the three germ layer which is formed that's a ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. This it forms during gastrulation. The primordial cell group in various germ layer move in an orderly fashion with unique accuracy as they are destined to form specific organs. So the cells look alike here that is determined. Change in shape and differentiation of cell in Various germ layer gives characteristic organs and later the shape to organism. So, there are the three germ layer that is the ectoderm, mesoderm and the endoderm. Means the organism body it consists of the three germ layer. And this three germ layer, it's a responsible for the development of the entire organs of an organism. So, let's see. As the first one is the ectoderm. This ectoderm, it gives rise to epidermis of the skin. Hair, nails, sweat gland, salivary gland, mammary gland, lacrimal gland and the sebaceous gland. The cornea of lens, cornea and the lens of eyes. Then retina, it gives rise to retina. Then conjunctive nasal epithelium and the enamel of the teeth. Then that the enamel of teeth, internal external ear and the foregut, hindgut and adrenal medulla, anterior and posterior pituitary gland pineal gland and the entire nervous system which is originated from the ectoderm. The second one is mesoderm. Mesoderm forms all types of muscles. What's the significant phenomena here? This mesoderm is responsible for the formation of the all types of the muscles except iris muscles and the ciliary muscles which is present in the eyes. This iris muscle, ciliary muscles which is originated from the ectoderm region. But the all the muscles which is present in the body, that all the muscles which is originated from the mesoderm region, the connective tissues, dermis of the skin, adrenal cortex, heart, blood, blood vessels, lymphatic system, that's a circulatory system, lymphatic system, excretory system, skeletal system, reproductive system, except the germ cell, that all the systems which is originated from the mesoderm. In addition to this, the gonads, that's a reproductive organ, kidney, sclera and the choroid of eyes, which is also originated from the mesoderm region. The next one is the endoderm region. The endoderm develops into epithelium of midgut. Glands of stomach, intestine, glands of stomach, intestine, tongue, tonsils, then the lungs, trachea, bronchi, then larynx, urinary bladder, vagina, liver, pancreas, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, thymus gland, eustachian tube, epithelium of urethra, lining of middle ear, all these organs are originated from endoderm. As you can see here, there is a presence of this embryo and this embryo, it shows the presence of yolk sac amniotic cavity and the, in addition to this, there is a presence of the three germ layer that is the ectoderm layer 
then the second one is a mesoderm layer and the third one it's a endoderm layer that is this three germ layer which is formed in the gastrulation stage this point we already see in the gastrulation phenomena abhi tak aapne nahi dekha hoga to zarur dekhiye so you can understand this three germ layer how it's a developed in the gastrulation phase you can understand very well after the formation of the three germ layer there is a formation of the various organs in the organisms so hope so you understood it thanks for watching my video stay tuned to my channel thank you